Hey everyone, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com here to talk about our brand new power pole blade rear anchor light for your boat. So for you guys that are running a power pole blade series or a set of power poles, now we've got a LED submersible 100% waterproof anchor light that will permanently attach to your power pole. So no more going in the boat and digging in the rod locker to get your rear anchor light. It's going to be permanently attached all the time. All the new ones, boats have your LED front navigation light built into the hole. Well, now you can have one permanently attached to your power pole. So we're going to go over the installation here. First thing we need to do, once you're trying to start this installation on your boat, is you got to lower down the power poles to be able to have access to everything. So we can run our wiring through, mount it up, and start running the wiring into the boat. So I'm going to go ahead and let that power pole down. Now when you get these out of the package, if you look here and you can see, hopefully you guys can see this, there's a little groove on each side of the power pole rear anchor light here. We're going to take a little bit of tape, scotch tape's fine, I think I'm using just our painter's tape that we use for gel coat, and that's just going to hold that wire each side. So we'll have our white one on this side, black one on this side. As you can see when you put it up here, we're going to run our wires through this hole right here, so that'll be the one, two, three, four, fifth hole. We're going to bring our wires through right there. We're going to Mount it all up, run it inside the boat. So let me get this thing taped off, get our wires running through that fifth hole, and start to bolt it in place. wires are taped up in the housing, so again, count it out. One, two, three, four, fifth hole. That's where I'm going to run my wiring through. One on each side. Wires are through, it's clipped in place. You can see we designed it to match the holes up. We're going to run our bolts through now and actually bolt it up in place. So it's going to be firm. Use the bolts, washers that are provided. I like the bolts to run the same way. As you can see here, we've got the bolts running the same way on the power pole, so that way it's all kind of uniform. Just my personal thing. You don't have to do it this way, but just how I prefer it on my boats. Perfect. Now she's on there tight. And now, we're going to want to rise up and over the hydraulic pump right here.
this that I think is important is you make sure you get your light line run up and above your hydraulic hoses. That way you won't have any pinch points that will potentially make it where the light is not operational. So keep our wiring up and above there. Now we're going to grab our fish case to run through the rigging for power pool. Here's the interesting thing about that. Because Ranger Factory rigged these up, I usually like to come out of the middle. This one actually comes out of the side here close to the motor. I'm going to take my fish tape and back it up towards the inside there so I can get it in here easily to hook our wires to. We'll tape the wires up after we get it in there. through the power pole working sleeve and get them up into the back end of the boat up here. Some guys just want to cut the wires and just use that internally and just leave it like that. That's one thing. I like to tie it in so you still have the option on use to go back to the factory and use the rear pole if you guys are still used to that or want to have the option in case something goes wrong. But again, you can tie right into it, splice into it just like our talent line does. So I'm going to go grab a screwdriver real quick and take this off. We'll feed the lines of the rest way in. Next thing you know, we'll be splicing it all together and be trying it out. All right. Got a rear anchor light base pulled out. You can see the wiring here. It's black to white, same as what we got turned into black and gray down here at this connector now. You can splice wherever you're comfortable, either before or after the connector. Doesn't really matter either way. I like to just splice right in to the connector itself. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna cut right here. Wire up black to black and white to white here. Wrap those. Grab one of our connectors. Right. Now we're going to do white to white. black to black and white to white. So now we'll have a base that works and our power pole rear anchor light that'll work. So you can use either or. Use one as a backup if you're not comfortable just relying on our light itself. But it'll work no problem.
shove those wires back down in place. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the dash switch, turn it all on so we can check everything out, make sure we're good. Power pole blade, rear anchor light that's permanently attached to your boat. Again, 100% waterproof, two nautical mile range. It's actually over two nautical miles, but to be Coast Guard rated, you have to be two nautical miles for viewing visibility. And once we hit it, switch up. Tallest point on the back of the boat, 100% legal. Be sure to check them out, russellmarineproducts.com. Again, we've got them for the Blade Series lights that are going to be out shortly. And we've also got them for the Sportsman's Pro Series, Johnny Signature Series, for the other power poles as well, too. Again, RussellMarineProducts.com.